everybody. Tammy. Tammy. <laughs> okay, here we go, Q and A session. How many litters can you get from a female? Miguel Sanchez asked that question. So, um, what do you think, Tammy? How many, fem how many females from a f how many litters from a female? As long as she's bouncing back, right. healthy and good. So, if you started breeding when you're a little over a year old, four times, five times, and you had successful mouth. litter every, you know, if you, if you came in heat every six months and you bred her two times and waited one time, then you'd get three litters in a year. Uh, it, excuse me, you get one and a half litters a year. So let's just say that you continue doing that until she's five years old. That'd be four litters. That might be six litters. That'd be a lot. Um, so I think the, the problem here is, is when do you quit? You quit, I've got lots of videos of this, so I'm not gonna go into great detail, but you quit when the signs aren't there that she's having a successful litter on the previous litter. So the answer is, I think typically four to six litters is probably, probably in the range. Uh, Mano Flores says, how common is two copies of CDY in French Bulldogs? Well, I suspect that CDDY is, is present in about 30% of all dogs that tested uh, a single copy. And then how many would you expect to have to have two copies? Uh, probably a third times a third. So now we're at one ninth or 10%. So this is just a guess, might be clear wrong. I'm gonna guess 10% have two copies. 30% have one copy, which means that 60% have zero copies. Just a guess. It's pretty common. Hello, I'm from India. This is Pradeep Rayo says, hello, I'm from India. Is it possible to send to India? Yeah, you bet. Absolutely. My breed is supply, not semen. Well, we can do semen, but it's much harder. If you want to do semen, you have to have a phone call to us. If you want to order products to go to, to India, yeah, my breed is supply. So let's have a look here. Uh, she's talking about terminating an unwanted pregnancy. Well, the flush knowledge is a bit late, even though I caught the act. Unfortunately, I can't find a vet to give my dog medication to terminate the pregnancy. Very early stage, less than 30 days. If anyone knows a vet in uh, Middle Tennessee, I could help, I could use help. Okay, so anybody in Tennessee knows of a vet who will help with the terminating pregnancy, send the message here. Christy, James and Tammy, thank you for all the effort in your videos. A little, 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 little. A successful litter of puppies. Uh, oh, go get got a puppy care kit and other stuff. Got yourself prepared. Well, good. Thank. But if one of the puppies is failing to thrive. She has an odd gaping latch and doesn't get good suction. I've been supplementing her feeding, but it takes a long time to get 10 mils into her. Can you provide any advice, please? Well, yeah, you're right. If you've got to feed a puppy, by the way, a puppy that's getting 10 mils would be a 10 ounce puppy. So a 10 ounce puppy, 10 mils every three hours, man, it can take you 20 minutes to feed the puppy. You know, it can take you, it really kind of ruins your day. The answer is tube feed. If you tube feed, you can get it all in there in literally less than a minute. Tube feed. What kind of, Mirth or Worth, what kind of female, this is for Tammy, what kind of female, Tammy, do you recommend to start with and why? What kind of female? Yeah. Oh, we answered this about a week ago. Not this if you one. want great DNA, you want great confirmation for sure, then you want the DNA that carries AT, carries Coco. It'd be great if they carried Fluffy, carries Cream. That, that's my choice. You know, blue and chocolate, full of DNA. Yeah, so I'm going to just reiterate what Tammy said. I think first thing is structure. Structure, structure, structure. You can't breed structure in. Structure. Get a dog that has nice structure. doesn't have a long back. You can back. help it, but you can't. Yeah, you can help it. But So first off, don't buy a dog that, you know, long legs, long tail, long neck, long snout. 
huge, wacky, great big, huge ears. These are all for us, would be no nose. Then after that, get as much DNA color as you can afford. So if you've got a nice horn girl that didn't have any extra colors in her, she may be a $3,500 dog. If you've got a blue dog, five or six thousand dollar dog, a uh, a lilac dog, you might be spending twelve, fifteen thousand. Merle, you might be spending seventeen, eighteen thousand. Fluffy Carrie, you might be spending twenty to twenty-five thousand or more. So, huge price range on DNA. Uh, Sam Harvey, can you breed two black, platinum dogs together? Of course you can. Yeah, there's one. one there's one place you can't do it. Then, do you know what that is, Tammy? What? There's one. One. There's one place you can't do it. Place. One situation where you oh, don't breed two platinum. Yes, Merles, that's, that's right. You can't do. So a platinum dog that's also merle will have it hidden and you won't be see it's there. So you could unknowingly breed two platinum dogs together that are both merles but is hidden by the cream and that would be a no-no. So you should know whether or not the, the uh, platinum dog you're getting involved with or one of them or either of them have a copy of merle. We have, by the way, a stud dog called Duke who is a platinum merle and he looks absolutely as white as snow but he throws platinum puppies. Now there's one Merle you can breed to a Merle. Yep. That's the uh, cryptic Merle. Cryptic Merle. Yep. But not a Merle to a Merle. Yep. It has to be a cryptic yep. if you're going to do that. At the vet, lad, ladder dog said at the vet yesterday got the privilege of seeing a litter of eight we call French a litter of eight we call French bulls. A bit shocked at the price for the two he is selling with breeding rights fifteen thousand each. I'm wondering if this inflation spike. Will it be more difficult to find buyers? Dog food price is so high, blah, 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 blah. Is this time to limit breeding? Well, no, no. what's going on in, no. No, yeah. what, what's going on here is, look, you know, you can find a French Bulldog for 3,000, you can find a French Bulldog for 300,000, for real. Huge, I mean, it's a hundred times differential but be price. be careful on that 3,000, sometimes you get what you pay for. Be for careful on 300,000, I too. But, but the point here is, is just because these dogs are 15,000, you haven't told us what they are. I'm going to guess that these are some very nice DNA dogs with nice structure, and that's why they're that expensive. So I'm not surprised to see somebody, and happy to see somebody, who's getting dogs that are of that quality. But obviously not for everybody. But no, it's not. this is not because of inflation. Um, it's life. Mm, Uh, lots of good information. This is Isaac Valentina. I did an AI dog and my dog was 28 on progesterone. Do you think my dog had a good chance for puppies? I only did one insemination. Well, yeah, probably. I mean, you know, 28 would like to do a, a, a transcervical or a uh, T or a surgical insemination because you're about a day late. But you'll probably work out okay. Time will tell. What if she, this is Ronald Washington, what if she bleeds but she never swells up, can she still be bred? You bet she can. So the amount of swelling that you see in dogs is just very variable. Some dogs look like baboons, got a huge oh puffy back end. Kit did and it yep. was totally embarrassing when Kathy yeah. came over. Yeah, exactly. James would let her out and show her off and I was like, no, 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 put her up. <laughs> You know. Yeah, well, it's all life. But anyway, but but the point here is, and then other dogs, Silent Heat, don't even see it. So, so just because it's not swollen up, doesn't mean that dog can't be bred, or that dog wouldn't be bred by another dog. So be careful. If you've got a dog that you think might be close or about to go into heat, but you're not sure, don't let that thing outside out of, out of your control, because it may get bred by, you know, Joe the Mutt next door. So yeah, just because it's swell doesn't mean that not capable of being bred or is not fine. Uh, Andre Moore says, says, I'm having issues with my six month old Frenchie regurgitating her food. It happens at random. I'm not sure what's causing it. I started giving her less food and water to slow her down and take, but it's still not working. Uh, I have taken it to the. Reflex. Appeared to be wrong. Do test. So this is replies and this is Russ's. So, Melissa Murrell replies, I had the same issue, check to make sure there are no products in her food that could be upsetting her stomach. Also, feed her earlier if it's happening during the night, if she's eating too fast, to get a slower feeder bowl. I hope that helps. 
Well, okay, so I mean, that's all sensible advice, but I think there may be something else going on here, and that's what's called mega esophagus. So that requires you go to the vet, has to do an ultrasound, maybe a, I'm not quite sure how to do it, there might be barium and an x-ray, but a mega esophagus is an, an enlarged esophagus. And what happens is the dog can eat the food, but then stays in the esophagus. It doesn't drain through properly into the, uh, into the uh, stomach, and the next thing you know, the dog throws it up. So that takes a, a vet's visit, and somebody's got the right equipment to do the diagnosis. Uh, but I think, you know, first things to do would be slow up her food, food intake, give her a small amount over a longer period, and see if that helps the situation. But if it persists, I think it's about time for that one. Oh, somebody's commenting on our murals. It says, the best French bulldog I ever saw. Well, thank you. Which one? That was the, the, uh, the uh, Betty ones, the murals. From uh, Betty, oh, uh, yeah. yeah, right from yeah. the year plus ago. Yeah. They were nice little There was one puppy in that, that camo girl. She was so pretty. Chocolate girl is what yeah. she was. Yeah. She's a mess. Bobby Simster says, oh, yeah, she did an AI following our instructions. It was really easy. Thanks for all the information. You're welcome. Uh, portable incubator, is it ready for the oxygen concentrator? Yes, the answer is, well, we can put a hole in the side of it for you for a 5 16 hole for a piece of tubing. You could do the same thing literally in a few seconds with the point of a scissor. It's very easy to do, and I've got a video on that. So the answer is, you can either order it that way and tell us you want us to put a hole in it, or I can show you how to make a hole yourself. Andrea Garcia, I'm a very I'm about to have puppies very soon. Just found you on YouTube. I wish I would have found you sooner. If I ordered your kit today, how long will it take to arrive? I live in California. So the answer is is that we have all different kinds of shipping methods when you order it. You can order it regular post, on which is ten bucks. Website it'll tell you yep, too. It tells you. So, so ten bucks takes about a website. week to ten days, probably too long for you. Um, FedEx home. About four days cost 25 bucks. FedEx second day, 35 bucks gets two days. FedEx overnight, 50 bucks gets to the next day. So we can, if you if you if you order at FedEx two day or FedEx overnight, we're going to get it out the same day you yeah. order, unless you get order close to four o'clock. Go to www.mybreedersupply.com and it tells you how long the shipping is. Yep, that's right. Yeah, and most so. We, FedEx comes and picks up stuff at our place at uh, three o'clock. So at three o'clock is the absolute cutoff. Nothing can come get done after that till the next day. If you order at two o'clock, that gives us one hour. And if it's a custom build, but it's not going it Somebody out. ordered it and it was on a weekend and they called you the next day and go, it didn't get here. Yeah, right, they ordered it on a Sunday. <laughs> Couldn't understand why they didn't get them on Monday. <laughs> hey, at least we answered a phone on a Sunday. Most people don't even do that. Um, yeah, so just to talk about shipping before we wind this one up. For us, shipping is available Monday through Friday. A cutoff point to be able to ship anything out is three o'clock in the afternoon. And if you ask for something at three o'clock, it's unlikely it's gonna go out that day. So if you order things by FedEx today or FedEx overnight from us, we will push you to the top of the lineup and we'll get your stuff out ASAP. If it's there by noon, it'll probably go out that day. Uh, if you live in uh, overseas, then we have to ship it by post and it takes considerably longer. Post is 10 days to three weeks to arrive by post, depending on where you live and how the post is doing. Right now, Australia is a nightmare because of COVID. Anyway, there we go. Thanks for watching everybody. Tammy, say goodbye. Bye. Watching the, the video. Uh, I really appreciate people who subscribe to me. It helps me, encourage me to do more of these videos. But do remember, disclaimer here, I am not a vet. I'm not a licensed medical professional. I'm purely a person who's been breeding dogs for the last couple of decades. Any information that you got from this video, use at your own risk. There's nothing implied here. And certainly this is, should not be used as a substitute for advice from your veterinarian or your medical professional. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for more of them. Bye. Mm -hmm.